Okay, Derek here. Uh, this is my, my start of my video journal. So in about a week and a half, I'm leaving on uh, what's going to be about a 17-day trip total um, on, a, on a motorcycle on this big beast that's, that's right behind me here. And uh, I kind of told myself I'm going to keep track of it, kind of talk about the experience and, and share that kind of stuff. So no better time than the present. Uh, here's a little background on it. I'll, I'll make this quick. So uh, a couple of years ago, I bought a BMW off the internet, flew up to Portland and drove it home. About five minutes after getting onto that bike, I realized that I didn't like it. It was really cool. It was sexy looking, had a great paint job, blue and white, kind of sport bike looking. Tons of power, smooth as an electric motor, uh, very fast, but just ridiculously uncomfortable to ride on. Uh, so I did for, some work for a guy, and he had uh, a KTM 1190, and a couple of years ago, I decided I, I wanted to do more off-road riding. Uh, something bigger than the, the KTM 500 that I had so that I could hop on the highway, ride there, go do some stuff and come back. And so we get talking about it and long story, <coughs> long story short, we traded straight across. I'd actually had my BMW for sale for a whole bunch, uh, a long time. I couldn't get a phone call on it. Couldn't give it away. I had one guy, I was asking $6,500 for it, maybe $6,000 for it. And I had one guy call and offer me $3,900 for it. He said, well, I'm coming up from the Bay Area. You know, that should count for something. And I was like, no, man, it doesn't count for anything. Um, and so I held out. Anyways, I traded it straight across to this guy. And we hadn't done the paperwork on it. I, he actually shipped the bike out from Texas. He had it in his business in Texas. Shipped it out from Texas. Took me a couple months to get it. We switched bikes. I rode it a little bit. Winter came. Actually, what happened is I, got, I, I fell off a bike in the, in the fall broke my shoulder and some ribs and so I didn't ride it and anyways in January we swapped the paperwork and we got talking about stuff and he told me yeah there's this ride you got to go on the internet and check it out these guys ride motorcycles all along the continental divide through Colorado and Wyoming and Montana It'd be really cool in like five years when we get our businesses all taken care of and we, everything's running smooth we should take that trip so I hung up the phone with him and I called my uh, my riding partner uh uh, Captain Compassion, also known as Randy, and I said, hey man, this guy told me about this ride. I think it'd be really cool to do. So uh, Randy calls me back and he says, dude, I'm in, let's do it. And so he, uh, in like a week and a half time, had sold his Harley and bought a KTM 1190 like this. And so uh, this was the bike I wanted since it came out in a magazine article on, on Cycle World. The first article said this is quite possibly the best bike ever, the best motorcycle ever built. And then three months later they had a second article that was a follow-up article and they said, we were wrong in that first article. It's possibly not the, it's, we were wrong. This is the best motorcycle ever. And so I, I started looking for it and uh, I found one here and I was looking all across the United States for one and I found one in Chico. Uh, low miles in, in great shape with everything that I needed on it. You know, most of the stuff I was looking for and saved a ton off of buying it used and, and brought it home. So that, that's where we're at today is uh, we put this ride together and I, uh, and then I sold the, the good news is that the, the black KTM 950 that I had that I traded the BMW for, I was able to sell that for what I paid for the BMW a couple of years ago. So I, was, I wasn't out any money on it had I sold it. I wouldn't have, I went and got the paperwork from the guy, I feel bad, but uh, he's like, yeah, I can see why you hated that bike, I hate this thing too, I'm going to sell it. So anyways, if you're looking at a 2005 BMW K1300S, uh, unless you're, you're comfortable riding around with your knees on your chest and you know, your weight on your arms all the time, uh, it's sexy and it drives fast, but don't buy it. But anyways, so... Uh, that, that's how this got started was, uh, was a phone call on that. And, uh, I kind of, I kind of, uh, say that I didn't really try to get out of it, but I knew that it was a long time and all that. So I called up Randy and I said, Hey, you know, why don't we just ride around Nevada for, you know, five or six days and do one of these other GPS Kevin rides that we've done. And he's like, no man, my heart's set on it. And so, uh, he's, uh, I, I brought it up and it was kind of a, almost the, the joke, but now I'm, we're like, I'm like 10 days away. I'm, I'm packing up. So I'm here tonight working on it, uh, fixing up the last few things. And uh, I'll, I'll keep you posted and share a few more things with you on and about the trip. But uh, I'm, 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 I'm a little nervous. The total trip's going to be about uh, 
somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 4,500 to 5,000 miles. We're going to be 2,100 miles on the actual route. We, we've shortened it up a bit. We're going to be 2,100 miles. I got about 1,100 miles to our start point that I'm going to ride on the highway and about 11 to 1,200 miles on the way home. So that's 20, we're like 23, 24 plus 2,200. So we'll call it 4,500. Uh, the original 6,000 I was telling people sounded a lot better, uh, but it, about 4,500 miles on it. So uh, that's where we're at. We're, we're finishing up the preparation stages and I'll check in with you again later.